You've probably noticed that every time you go to the doctor, they take your heart rate, blood pressure, temperature, oxygen saturation, and those are called your vital signs. They're called vital signs for a reason because they alert us to potential problems. And if we do see signs of problem, then we can intervene and help you be as healthy as possible. While a mother is pregnant, the best way we have to check the baby's vital signs is by watching the pattern of the baby's heart rate. Not just because it's the heart rate, but because it's an overall sign of how well oxygenated the baby is while inside the mother. The umbilical cord and placenta are the baby's lifelines. That's how the baby gets oxygen and nutrients. And during labor, just because of how it goes naturally, it's normal to have periods of deprivation and oxygen, either during contractions because the placenta is not getting great blood flow or because the umbilical cord is being squished. When we see changes in the baby's heart rate, we can react and support the baby through labor so that they're as healthy as possible. Some women don't like the idea of being monitored because they have the perception that they're strapped down during labor and they're very restrictive, but that's not the case at all. There are two monitors placed on your belly, one watching the pattern of the baby's heart rate and the other monitoring for contractions. And the cords that connect the monitor to the computer are actually about eight and a half feet long. So it gives you plenty of room to move around and get into different positions that are comfortable during labor. When circumstances permit and with the permission of the OB provider, a woman can even get into the tub and labor using waterproof monitors. It's definitely possible to watch the pattern of the baby's heart rate and to have freedom to move around. If you have more specific questions about fetal heart monitoring, its importance, or what to expect when you go to the hospital, talk with your doctor at your next appointment. And if you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.